Quiz 6, number 13. Here we're asked to simplify a cube root that has a number and also a variable on the inside. So, because we're dealing with a cube root, the first thing you want to do is take the number and let's make a workspace over here. Take the number 270 and break it down so that it's a product of two numbers, one of which is the highest possible cube root you could have. Now, 270 factors down nicely into 27 times 10. Well, that works out well because 27 is a perfect cube. Cube root of 27 is 3. Now, if that one didn't work out on the first factoring, I, I would just try other factorings of 270 and see what I could get to work out. So, 270, I'm going to rewrite it as 27 times 10. Now I also want to rewrite the x to the 8th power. And again, I want to rewrite it so that I have a perfect cube. So if I rewrite x to the 8th as x to the 6th times x squared, this right here, x to the 6th, is a perfect cube. Because remember, when you have a variable with an exponent, the cube root divides the exponent by 3. Alright, so the cube root of x to the 6th is x to the 6 divided by 3, or x squared. If I had a square root instead, it would be 6 divided by 2. So whatever the root is, you divide the exponent by that. So I'm going to rewrite x to the 8th as x to the 6th, because that's the highest cube root I can make with the leftover of x squared. And then I identify the perfect cube roots, 27 and x to the 6th. They're going to come out of the cube root. I'm going to cube root them. The cube root of 27 is going to be a 3 taken outside. Cube root of x to the 6th will be x to the 6 divided by 3 is x squared taken outside. So on the outside I get 3x squared. Whoops. And then the leftovers get rewritten on the inside. Cube root. And remember that little cube there because it's going to be a wrong answer in my math lab if you don't put the cube root symbol. The leftovers are 10 and x squared. And that would be our answer, 3x squared, cube root of 10x squared.